So what's the role of the thalamus? It's clearly the gateway for sensory information into the cortex, playing a role in selecting which object will be the focus of attention. But it's also connected strongly with higher cortical areas. We can learn more about its role by studying the deficits that result from damage to the thalamus. And we observe that damage to a thalamic nucleus results in pretty much the same deficits as damage to the cortical area it mainly connects with. If there's damage to the visual association areas, there are some characteristic cognitive deficits that result. For example, if a patient with damage to right visual cortex is asked to study a visual field, like counting the number of letter T's in this illustration, their eye movements, shown in yellow, uh, and eye fixations, shown in red, um, show that the activity is limited to the right side of the visual field. So damage to the right visual cortex results in a deficit in visual attention to the left side. And if the same patient is asked to draw an object, like a clock, only the right side is drawn in detail. Now the pulvinal nucleus is reciprocally connected with these visual association areas. And damage to the pulvinal nucleus results in deficits that are very similar to those caused by visual area damage. And there's another example. Remember that damage to the hippocampus results in declarative memory deficits. And damage to the anterior thalamic nucleus that's interconnected with the hippocampus results in the same types of memory deficits. So in summary, the thalamus is two large clumps of neurons located centrally in the brain, one in the left and the other in the right hemisphere. The main body of the thalamus is divided up into nuclei that all have very similar neurons, each nuclei connected reciprocally with one or more cortical areas. Damage to a thalamic nucleus causes deficits that are pretty much the same as those caused by damage to the corresponding cortical area. The communication between the cortex and thalamic subnucleus passes through another part of the thalamus called the TRN, and inhibitory neurons in the TRN can trigger gamma band oscillations in the thalamocortical circuit. Sensory information passes through the thalamus before reaching the cortex, and the thalamus plays a role in selecting what will be the target of attention.